So let's say I want to start drawing out contents. Then what I can do is I can go around onto my brush tool right here, let's say for example, and start drawing out. Let me just go around over here and then change this out uh, onto the size right here. So let's just go around to this different size right here, um, larger size right here, and this is what I have. So now you can see that this particular brush is green in color. So if I want to change around the green color, I can go around, click right here, and choose, let's say for example, red color right here. And I can simply do that. I can go around over here onto color section right here, then I got the color picker. I can click outside right here and click, let's say, for example, anywhere outside. Let's say, for example, this shape, then it takes that color as the sample. Click on this and it takes that color as the sample. Press OK and there you have the color right here. Apart from that, you can go around, select out different colors by using the sliders and go for CMYK colors right here so that it only limits it out to print colors right here. That is because the screen right here and print are limited. So if you go to go and print colors, then it'll simply go around and only show up the print colors. Apart from that, there's the web colors. So online, um, uh, only certain colors are more specific. So you can go around and select out these colors right here. So you use particular web colors only right here. But these days, it is not actually limited to only web colors, but you can use any colors on the web as well. Apart from that, you can work around with hue right here. So you can go for, let's say, for example, 360 right here, just like this, and it goes to the red set right here. That's the saturation, so you can go around 50% and it decreases the saturation. And go around with the brightness right here, and you can change around the brightness of the color as well. So similarly, you can go around and change around the luminance right here and so forth. There's the RGB values right here in decimal, as you can see, and CMYK values that you can work around with as well. Let's say, for example, you can go for a red value of 200 and green value of 0 and blue value of 60 right here, for example, and then you get the color around over here as well. Apart from that, you got CMYK right here. Let's say, for example, uh, the key color will be 50 right here, just like this, so that is more black. Yellow will be 50 right here. Magenta will be 50, sign will be 50, and then you got a great color as you can see right here. Apart from that, you can go around and then add in the hexadecimal code if you know the hexadecimal color code as well. For example, I'm going to say AF01 and FA right here, just like this. And what happens is that you get purple color according to uh, the color code that you add in. And that is how you can choose around the color. So what you are choosing right here is the foreground color, as you can see right here. Another thing that you can choose is the background color for document selection and when you erase things right here. So this is not, uh, this does not get painted right here, but stays in the background. If I were to go around and click on this little arrow right here, then the background color and the foreground color swaps and you can start drawing around as you can see right here, just like this. If I were to go around and click on this uh, black and white dot right here, then it um, uh, goes back to default and then it goes back, back to the default black and white colors right there. And that is how you can work around with color selection inside a photo bee. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.